if you are a ca final student writing at now may 23 exams please watch this i know today sfm paper is completed and uh, where i have conducted a poll where uh, more than 1200 students have voted mentioning approximately 52% said paper is very difficult completely new and out of box questions and immediately as soon as you came out of the examination hall you are in this thought process probably gone this attempt is gone i need to focus on the next attempt now the question is should i should i focus on the audit paper or not if at all you are in this category if at all you are in this category let me tell you one example in 2013 november my senior when i am doing article ship one of my senior is his his really hard worker four five months he have studied for ca final consistently for eight to nine months approximately he took a long leave and studied for him november 2013 paper sfm was one of the toughest paper today when i saw this poll result no i was i i exactly connected to that and i am sure that many students will definitely feel uh, you know what uh, less confident about the next paper or maybe less confident about this attempt or maybe getting this thought of ignoring this attempt if at all you are in that please forward look at this look i mean uh, please watch this so number 13 sfm paper was one of the toughest paper and after exams we asked him like how was he how he performed and he told at that moment only sfm was very tough and then only i came to know that sfm paper was very tough in number 2013 and he told he is doubtful about only sfm if at all in sfm he pass he will qualify group 1 i mean he will qualify that ca final hence he will fail this is what his dilemma and guess what what is the result all india 18th rank he got all india 18th rank in november 2013 examinations yes this time also i am telling you not just this time when a paper has come extremely tough you might be thinking sir i have not even attempted for 60 plus i hardly attempted 50 or 55 marks if some students in fact told sir i have attempted only 40 45 the message my my final students were there who were writing after two days audit exam they messaged sir i'm losing hope after today's exam what to do nothing ignore this exam focus on the next exam next to two days you are having time for audit which is a golden time this two days if you revise properly if you study properly entire subject you can definitely do well in audit and believe me you might be thinking sir i have wrote only in sfm 55 sir i can't even score 40 believe me your mark sheet will be more than 50 if at all you have attempted for 55 to 60 marks your mark sheet will have more than 50 marks believe me trust me this is what happened you know let me tell you my experience also see ipcc i am eligible to write originally in november 2009 originally i am eligible sorry november 2010 my original attempt was first day first paper was accounting CA, CA IPCC means nothing but now CA inter. Listen to this. Believe me, you will go. You, you will be connected very sure. Uh, that time actually I am having ear pain also. In spite of it, I went to exam. Paper was extremely tough. It was completely different. I hardly attempted for 60. 60 or 65 maybe. And I came out. Second exam onwards, I didn't go. I didn't even attend the exam. Uh, sorry, sorry. I attempted, but I did not revise. I did not revise. That was my first attempt in IPCC. But with what attitude I revised, you know, anyhow, accounts exam, I will fail. Why should I focus on law and all? I just casually, um, I didn't even revise. I just went and wrote whatever I remember. That too, whenever I need to stress, no, my mind kept on saying, hey, anyhow, you will fail. Why are you being stressful so much? Anyhow, you will fail. So I didn't even stress. If at all, I stressed a little bit, I would have scored a little bit, little more marks in law. <coughs> Same with other papers also. Every time, whenever I am stressing up my mind so that I can write better answer, my mind is always saying me, anyhow you will fail, anyhow you will fail. And I somehow, in the fourth paper, I hardly attended for one hour and I came out. That time, we, we can come after half an hour of the paper. Now, I think uh, up to 5 o'clock you need to stay. But that time, after half an hour, I can we can come out. So that is how fourth paper I left. You know, what is my score in that group? 190. And what is my score in accounts? You know, 58. I was shocked. And I wrote for 65. And I think not even, not even two questions I wrote perfectly. Almost all the answers were average. And how come I scored 58? Then I came to know that. Whenever this paper was given extremely tough, institute will give certain benchmarks. Scheme of valuation at the time. So as per that scheme of valuation, if at all a student wrote at least 6 out of 10 steps correctly, 
at least six or five steps at least 50 60 percent of the answer is if it is correct award him full marks not only that not only that as a whole as a whole they added some 10 to 11 marks in accounting paper that's what i heard that's what i heard from my you know some ces uh, they told me so in accounts you have got some 11 to 12 marks added and that's why i got 58 same thing might happen for sfm also you might be thinking you can't even score 30 you can't even score 35 but institute may come up and add another 15 marks voluntarily for everybody who knows and you are thinking to leave this exam how unfair when institute is trying when every other resource when everybody else in this universe is trying to make you successful and you are you are not believing it and next exam next attempt onwards i made up my mind no matter how the paper is i'll try to sit i'll try to attempt at least whatever possible 60 70 marks at least i need to attend and come and i'll ignore about that paper focus on the next paper and from then i, I started thinking differently from others so today you you many, many of you have seen my previous videos right you you can find so logical most of my videos the only reason was that particular attempt which changed my mindset in 2010 and I have seen it in 2013, I have seen it in 2017 or 18 sometime and now again I am seeing it. Same, you know, like what trend? You will score more than you predict. Believe me. Believe me. So, what to do? Ignore this SFM thought, whatever the thought. Ignore it. Focus on audit. Two days time you have. And for you only, I have made a video on audit. How to use these two days? Just go to UC Ram Harsha YouTube channel. You know, inside that there is a playlist called May 2023 Final Audit. Inside that, how to use the next two days? There is a video. Two days gap before exam. So clearly, RTP video is there, amendments videos were there, marathons were there. And in the website, you just open the rest of our CACMA.com website. In that website, I have given colored notes PDF, which is free. Various other resources for free. Use all this. If at all you are habituated to, then happily go and write audit exam. Do well, all the very best. Last minute, don't change book. These two days, don't change any book. Whatever the book you are habituated, you go with it. If at all you already used my book, then you can use it. Okay. So, please make up your mind. Focus on the next exam. Every exam, treat it as if it is a separate attempt. Okay. All the very best. Bye.